What's going on, y'all? So we are back again for another episode review of Black Ink Crew. I couldn't get into it last night unless there was some shit going on. But um, anyway, let's just get into this whole new episode. We got two more episodes left. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be the finale. Most likely the mid-season finale um, because Black Ink Crew, the original, is about to come back. And like I said before, I'm not reviewing it anymore. I gave up on Black Ink Crew. It is what it is. But let's just get into this video. It's not going to be long because I'm at work. And... um. Anybody can come up in this bitch any minute. But anyway, um, so I apologize for the video being late. So basically, this whole situation with um, Prince, let me tell you something. Prince, you wrong, okay? Prince had to tell his girlfriend what was going on, and then he um, <clears throat> got fly to drop him off at the jail, okay? Because he went on ahead and took the plea. And my thing is, he didn't tell Charmaine or anybody, that's your boss. You have to tell your boss what's going on. You can't leave him on the hook like that, okay? And you didn't tell anybody, and Charmaine had to find out from fly okay and that was messed up you know and this is after being in group chats and not you know hearing anything from them inviting them to the gender reveal and you still not showing up that was messed up okay you have to communicate regardless of how you know messed up it may seem or whatever you still have to communicate that is on you same thing with Jess all right Jess I don't like her all right and I'm gonna tell you why um because of the way that she's handling this situation. I understand, and I stand by everything. You know, some of y'all had some issues with what I said last week, but I stand by everything that I said um, concerning that whole situation. You a partner, y'all need to sit down and um, talk it out or whatever, but she's the owner, okay? So she got more say than anything. And truth be told, what Ryan, the shit that Ryan was saying about this whole shopping, about Charmaine running the shop, bitch, that shit came true in this episode, okay? It wasn't no hate, all right? He was just telling the fucking truth all right um but i get feeling like you know the lines have been crossed boundaries have been crossed and you know communication once again is an issue because we are not communicating the way that we supposed to we are not following through on things that we agreed upon and i get that but you don't just pick up and leave the way that you did okay you picked up and you didn't went right back to london if you that's the case bitch you should have stayed over there in london and got your own show because they finna be filming over there with your shit all right that's why i don't understand and then you only tell plug about it you don't tell charmaine you should have just said bitch i'm not coming back it is what it is you don't ever give nobody no ultimatum because it's not going to turn out the way that you want it to turn out nine out of tens all right and that's what wind up happening um why would you think that she would choose you over i can see on the business side because you a tattoo artist but a tattoo artist come a dime a dozen okay you can find somebody else to tattoo and, and fill the shop up you know but this is somebody that was her friend so of course she's gonna go with her friend you know that's where it was you know they known each other longer so of course it's gonna go to kitty and to be quite honest you've had the issue with kitty since the day you met her and for whatever reason we don't understand it's more so about your um <clears throat> insecurities if you ask me you do not feel comfortable with other females being in the shop that you did not bring in that's what it is all right um and i say that because you're okay with drea you're okay with drea because drea is team jess that's it drea is a follower to me if you ask me she can't think for herself you know um she can't look outside the box that's what she's showing me but you have an issue with kitty because she's the brand ambassador she's putting stuff out there she can help get the you know attention onto the shop because y'all really need it yeah i scratched myself and if y'all ever noticed that it like permanently scarred me so that's a scar i look so fucked but anyway i go get my hair done tomorrow so that's fine and it's snowing outside so ugh. but anyway um, so that's that. And then you just leave and then you go over there and you talking to your, your, your people about it. And, you know, they telling you, you might as well just jump ship at this point. And to be quite honest, just, you don't need to come back because it looked like second, any second city ink is in some trouble. You don't want to come back to that shit at this point. But the shit that you was talking about, some of the female empowerment and then, you know, um, she called Kit in there to take your job and all that stuff. That's not what was happening. Kit wasn't supposed to be the manager. Kit said that herself, but Charmaine put her in charge to get some shit together. That's it. You the one that felt threatened. For what reason? I don't know, okay? 
And, you know, the other, Drea, you ain't had no reason to come to that kid like that because you're an employee, all right? And technically speaking, she's ahead of you now because of Charmaine put her there. And that's what you should have just went on ahead and worked with. And if you had an issue, you should fucking leave. Kit, you are doing the fucking most. I will have to say that. You need to calm the fuck down, okay? Um, you know, Dre didn't have to put out that that the only reason why you was his because you was fired. Because truth be told, that's the only reason why you there, okay? And then, you know, Plug had them come together and, you know, apologize to each other. Not necessarily apologize, but if we got to work together, let's just talk it out, okay? And so Charmaine was cool with that. She got a quote, you know, uh, article or something that was happening in a newspaper, Chicago Tribune, about Second City Inc. And then come to find out when they finally do the article and it comes out, girl the shop ain't even fucking registered so y'all up here unlicensed and shit doing this stuff see that's what Ryan was talking about Charmaine you cannot open up a business that's that's you operating illegally baby okay that's what's happening and then you not getting checked in with the health department oh my god are you serious Charmaine this is what you should oh excuse me this is what you should have been had um done and see it's obvious that mostly the communication issue was on charmaine part you're trying to do so much you didn't tell your partner this because i'm pretty sure jess probably would have made sure that you went on ahead and got this done or tried to get it done herself but of course you did not do that you tried to you know hide that shit then blame it on the fact that all this other stuff that was going on um baby before we open up something like this you're dealing with people's skin blood and you know putting holes in their bodies and shit like like that you need to have the health department shit like that <laughs> squared away your permits and all that stuff before they come in and shut you down and lawsuits can be happening because you technically illegally t tattooed on them you know and took their money but you got to get that shit together um they do go to the uh big jam and that's where they revealed that they are having a girl she want to name her nola glenda and her last name her mother and her her uh, mother's name and um her father was there neek's mom was there that was cute everybody was there um kit kit and Ryan, like bitch are y'all fucking at night okay because this y'all playing on the fact that y'all may be fucking at night you know it's just irritating me the vibe was different he just gave you a tattoo at your place and then y'all get to the big gym and the vibe is different because rachel is there if y'all not fucking, it shouldn't be no problem with her being there or whatever. And that's Ryan, okay? What is your issue, you know? But that was basically what was going on with them. And then Van shows up, you know, trying to apologize for that rumor putting out there about... He didn't necessarily put the rumor out there about Charmaine and him having sex in Vegas. Don asked him about it. He didn't deny it or because he claimed that he was probably drunk or whatever, but he never denied it or confirmed it. So Don took that as a confirmation and Don told the producer, 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 one of the produ person on the production crew. And then, you know, remember they showed the clip of the guy telling us what was going on, where he heard it from. And so that's part of the reason why Charmaine don't want to fuck with them at this point. And Don didn't really, I mean, Van didn't really shut it down when he should have shut it down because he knows that nothing happened. And so I got something in my tooth. I'm on lunch, y'all. I'm so sorry. If y'all been looking at that shit this whole time, bitch, I'm just not catching it. I'm feeling it. Anyway, fuck it. We family. But um, <laughs> y'all like, bitch, we gonna do this all the goddamn time when it's on this video. But um, anyway... So, yeah, and did had the nerve to say, I want to, um, you know, come in and help you out and, you know, with the license stuff and try to get you back to where you need to go to. And Charmaine was like, bitch, no, we're not on that level. Thanks for the offer, but we're not on that level. And as soon as I seen Van, because he said he has not seen or talked to anybody since uh, the old nine man, nine man closed. I was like, he finna come up in there and ask for a job. He finna come in there and ask for a job. And that's basically what he was doing. He was edging for it. He was trying to get his way in, ease in by saying, let me help you get this license or whatever first. And then he was going to ask for a booth there. That's what was going to happen. Okay. Charmaine ain't fucking with him right now. Truth be told, I, just get some new people. Okay. Get some new people. Um, and Don and Ashley... Don out here having hoes shake her ass on. You know, you go to the club and you dance with some bitches or whatever. And given that you've been in the issues and the trouble that you've been in, I 
think you will learn better not to do that because we live in a day and age where everybody want to photo capture, camera capture everything, and then try to put the narrative out there, their own narrative, even if it wasn't what it was supposed to be. Um, Bill Cosby is tweeting from drill. What? <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> This whole girl shit. Wait till what it is. Come on. But um, anyway, first of all, I thought Bill Cosby had glaucoma or some shit he couldn't see like he was going blind. God damn, who tweeting for Bill Cosby on his account? Girl, go on Twitter and look at this shit. It is a mess. But anyway, um, yeah, Don and Ashley, I'm over them. Because Ashley, at this point, you don't trust him. And you never trusted him. And y'all never should have continued on with this relationship. Don, you keep putting yourself in these positions to be not trustworthy, even if you're not doing anything. And that's basically all that I have to say. You know, he want to know where the kids at. She took the kids, whatever. And they had a conversation. And it ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere. So, um, basically... I believe that's all that went on in this episode. Once again, I apologize for this being a day late. Um, I wanted, I didn't want to do it after I got off of work because I get off of work at 8 o'clock, which means I don't get home till like 8.30, 8.40. And I didn't want it to be so late in the day. So I'm going to give it to you right now. I'm on my lunch break. But um, y'all tell me how y'all feel about it. And I will see you guys later. Peace.